most of the new features in 5.5 were um, to kind of help address some changes we see in the video industry. Um, many of the new features have been uh, designed for the DSLR shooter market. Um, we have new versions of Premiere Pro with many new features for enhanced editing. Um, we have seen so many people switching to Premiere Pro now um, that were trained in another application like uh, Final Cut Pro or Media Composer. Um, we have addressed many of their needs for basic functionality in the timeline, making sure it's easy to use. And we've been working very hard on uh, bringing Adobe Audition, which is a audio editing, professional audio editing tool. And uh, this was a project we started many years ago. And uh, we did not want to wait for the next big release of Creative Suite. We wanted to get this to customers as soon as we can. There's so many new features. It's uh, a complete new version of Premiere, After Effects, a uh, new version of the Adobe Media Encoder, um, Audition, um, and there are enhancements, smaller enhancements in the other parts of the production premium tools like Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, these are not major new features in those applications, but there is a, a we call it a dot one update for those applications as well. And one last thing for video, we uh, we have seen the market for video uh, computer hardware um, continues to evolve and change and for the production premium release uh, we have added many many new video cards that support uh, GPU acceleration in Premiere so um, you know many different models of quadro cards there are several different chipsets for laptops now available so uh, it's possible to get this amazing performance with uh, many more video cards than we had before. Okay, um, well, first off, we are seeing a, uh, a large amount of wedding videographers using Premiere Pro because of the, just the native file support, um, which is enhanced in 5.5. Um, some new features that I have shown to uh, wedding videographers that are very excited about. Um, in, uh, in After Effects, the warp stabilizer and the new camera lens blur effect uh, are both very uh, interesting for wedding videographers. Many times uh, uh, at a wedding or a live event, um, the camera operator must go handheld with the camera. And um, you know, some wedding videographers invest thousands of dollars to uh, purchase a steady cam rig to keep the camera steady. But now with the warp stabilizer, they don't need to do this. They can get very steady shots. Um, without having to have expensive, very heavy hardware that requires special training. And I, I did a presentation at a, a user group called WEVA, which stands for Wedding Event Videographer Association, and they were very excited about the uh, camera lens blur effect because artistically with the new, with shooting with DSLR cameras, uh, using focus to help tell a story is becoming more common with wedding videos. Uh, and the problem is, if you are one person trying to shoot, you only get one chance to shoot the scene. You do not want to try and play with focus during a live event. So the camera lens blur effect in After Effects makes it easy to add a focus adjustment in post-production and make it look like it came from the camera.